What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove and today is a bittersweet day. We got all our hay mowed, so all the hay is up from our pasture, but our good friend Greg is here to pick up the air-conditioned cab John Deere. So he's backing up to the trailer now. We got to put the baler on first and then the tractor goes on. Lastly, I think I'm towing the hay rake with my truck, but uh, let's get this thing loaded up. We have a video out where we unloaded the baler with the mini excavator, but today we're gonna leave it on the tractor, back it up the trailer, and then we're gonna secure it with some two by fours screwed into the deck of the trailer. Because when he brought the baler out here, it came loose from when it was tied down and he almost lost it on the side of the road. And that baler right there is not cheap. That thing's over $5,000. All right, here we go. Low series, four wheel drive, baler up as high as it will go better line up. Holler if you see anything. This is hitting my tail light right here. Is it about to clear? It's hitting right here. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That was close. It was hitting my tail light. Whoa, this is a tall trailer. I'm not driving that John Deere up here. Whoa. <laughs> Thought I hit the brake. You see me go forward? Look how steep that angle is. All right, guys, the sad part, I gotta go get the John Deere and load it up. Well, I'm not gonna load it up, Greg is. I'll get it up to the trailer, you do the rest. <laughs> Brad's last time on the John Deere. Brad doesn't wanna drive it up on the ramps. He wants Greg to do it. Greg's looking at me like I'm gonna drive it up. Oh, look at him, he's gonna be brave and pull it on the trailer. I guess I'm driving it up. This tractor is so big. We good? Wait till you see the video of how we got the baler off. Oh God. I don't want to be the reason that this thing comes off the trailer. So uh, we're going to let Greg pick it up and I'll go ahead and tell on myself. I didn't get the tractor perfect. You can see that it's a little bit off to one side, but we're going to chain the heck out of it. And we're not going very far. So we got the baler secured with some extra two by fours here. I guess that thing was going backwards and forwards. That's why it's dented there because it actually hit that bar when he was bringing it to me. And I guess it almost came off the side. It's obvious I don't know what I'm doing. Got a little hook on that side and a big old wing nut on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up here, man. Now you won't take out mailboxes as you go. <laughs> so he pulled the truck forward so that the ramps kick up so that it's easier to stow them. Greg is like a bull in the china shop. He just lets it flop. I've never been to Greg's farm, so I'm gonna follow him. Grab the hay rake right here. Just like that. The hay baling experience is over. Brad's taking the rake. Greg's taking his other toys. Certainly do appreciate the use of this. There goes Deb to open the gate. Greg's towing the John Deere and the mower and the baler. Oh my. Uh, Deb locked I, out. I should, warm. I should have second guessed that. I should have hitched a ride with you guys. Smells like a swamp rat. She does. She's been in the pond, huh? She has been in the pond. And away we go, uh, headed to Greg's farm. Bill on the hay rake. Looks like she's got horns. Bill does kind of have horns. Look at that. Look at that hay rake back there. I know. It's kind of weird. We got all the tourists from Panama City Beach passing us as we head towards the interstate. All right, we thought we'd capture a little bit of this. Deb is in seventh heaven right here. She's got herself a little pony she's petting on. I believe Greg has three horses total, but he's only got one on the property at the moment. Well, besides the pony. Look what I got. Look what I got. This is a little, a little preview of what I'll have one day, hopefully. It's a, it's a he. Dad's not sure, so we're calling him Pony. <laughs> but he is so sweet. He's I would say about a year old, I think Greg said. And just beautiful, he feels like velvet. He shaves him for this hot Florida like heat. Bella's not so impressed with the horse, but she's really impressed with the horse's food. 
Bella will now eat anything. Apparently deer poop and horse feed are at the top of her list. Go pet Bubba. Hey Bubba. Bubba and Bella match in color? Yeah, or, look at them. Oh yeah, they do a little bit. I grew up with horses on our farm in Virginia and horses are, are kind of intimidating. They're big animals, but this one's real friendly. It'll let you, um, I guess, pet it or rub on its face. Luckily, we don't have a horse trailer or we might be bringing some of these animals home with us to Piney Grove. Greg brought me into his barn here to show me, we were talking about hay, and then we came upon this little gem of a tractor. It's an international cub that his daddy redid. It says model CUB cub. But just for size perspective, that's a, that's a little tractor. It can, can't be more than maybe, I don't know, 20 horsepower or so. It's got a built-in tiller or a built-in cultivator on the bottom. You know, Piney Grove, we're always trying to keep water in our pond. And Greg's got a little runoff pond here, and it's got some brim in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a brim right there swimming around. And I guess this time of year they're, they're bedding up, but I, there's a brim there, and then there's some minnows right here, some food for them. Nice little pond. Get a fishing pole and have a little fried fish dinner. We've said throughout all of these hay baling videos how great a friend Greg was to bring us that hay baling equipment, but we have never been to his house. And how many miles was it for us to get from Piney Grove to Greg's house? One way, it was 20 miles, just one way. So he drove 40 miles to bring us equipment, and then he drove 40 miles today to get his equipment and take it back. So thanks again, Greg. That's all part of why we wanted to move to the country. Not that we live in a bad area, but move out here because people are just different and they're helpful. It, it was just, it was huge and it was really, really cool to see Greg's farm. I'm sure you were excited about the, the pony and the horse. Oh yeah, it was nice to, to go up there anyway and just be in a different part of the country. And like Brad said, it's a community out here. Even though people aren't close, close in proximity, the mentorship and the friendships, it's a community and that's a great, great experience or it has been a great experience for us. So yeah, and he had horses. He had a big horse and he had a little horse and, um, and he had dogs. So it was a good time for me. I wanted Deb to have some time with the pony, so I didn't get to hear anything about the ponies. Greg didn't know the pony's name, but he said it was a year old. Um, felt like velvet, just a beautiful, sweet, sweet animal. Could not be in the pen with the big horse. And the big horse's name was Bubba. So we didn't really go into it at the end of our hay baling video, but as soon as I got done baling, I had a raindrop hit the hood of the tractor. So I was having trouble with the net wrapper on the baler. So we've got some bales here that didn't get wrapped, but. I had to get the baler off and get that inside because you really don't want that to get wet, especially the electronics. And then I used my tractor to go all throughout the pasture and pick up the bales. I would get three to six bales like in the bucket of the tractor or stacked on top of the bucket. I got a bunch of bales in the trailer and we ended that video saying we would count the bales and we still haven't. So we'll get a count today. So I'd come in here and that's probably four tractor loads on the trailer. I was actually able to get eight bales on the tractor somehow, I forget how I did it. And I just came in here and I dumped them. They're just kind of stacked by the loader bucket. We're gonna put 10 bales or so of this hay to the side so that we can use it in the garden and for compost and erosion control. And the rest of it's gonna go to Greg. And I'm glad we're giving it to Greg because Greg loaned us all that equipment and there was really no agreement. Greg said, here, here's some equipment that you might like to hay and make a video of. And we did, but he didn't ask for anything from us. So the fact that we can give him all this hay, and when he was out here today, he talked about how good it was and how it was better hay than what he had. So we're, we're proud to give him this, and we are very fortunate they loaned us the good stuff. We thought a good ending for this video, or at least I thought a good ending for this video, would be Deb, as small as she is, lifting these hay bales. So the bales that got the most rain on them are these bales, but they are completely dry because the rain can't get to the center of the bale. And I got them in here fairly quick after it started raining. We're gonna put 10 bales or so over here and then stack the rest on that trailer. I wasn't here when he bailed it. I was very sad that I wasn't here, but I wasn't. The video of these bales, they did not look that big. And not that they're huge, but they looked a lot smaller on video. So I, I think they're gonna be heavier than what I thought they were going to be. All right, we're just gonna stack 10 or so over here. They're not wet at all, but uh, give, try to give Greg the best quality hay we can give him. You see where he wants to stack these? No place easy. There's lots of obstacles in the way for stacking. If you uh, didn't notice this, my wife 
AKA Miss Piney Grove. She's not the most graceful person. Oh, oh no, I'm not at all. I'm very clumsy. I can trip over my own two feet and actually have. Did you see that I picked one up? I did not throw it though. I think if there weren't so many obstacles in the way, I could probably carry it to you as I'll well. I'll grab these. All right, bend your knees, babe, well, bend your I, knees. I think this one's kind of stuck between the brush hogs. You can put it up here. Yeah, see, this is, this is a little is that big heavy? for me. Up here. Whoa. And this one's a little bigger because the baler beeps and tells you to stop baling, and I would always go another 10 or 15 feet to make a bigger bale. But the baler was fine. When Greg first showed me that he had baled the hay like this, with his baler in his field, I was like, man, they're kind of puny bales, you know, who would want to bale? But this actually is probably just under the size of the square bale that we're all used to seeing, I think. I'm gonna take this one on top right here, instead of bending. Cause my, my mama said work smarter, not harder. Just a little one. And it was a little. Look at the cute little hay pile. All right, there are, Four, seven, eight, nine, there's 10 there. So there's 10 that we kept and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine there. So we'll call that 18 so far. Deb says she's itching just from touching those bales and her eyes kind of blew up last week when we were out here baling it. So we're not gonna make her lift too many, but we gotta at least see her put one from there onto the trailer on top of those other ones. That's a shoulder, that's probably top of the shoulders height. So. Uh, here we go, Deb. You're up. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this, and where am I putting it? Uh, on top. You can come from the side, or you can nope. you gonna roll it. I'm going to roll it. Cheater, cheater, nope. pumpkin what'd eater. No, what I say? Mama said work smarter, not harder. I got it up, so I can probably do another one. Look at that. Look at, look at me and my hay fever and my, my scrawny arms. I'll probably pay for this later. <laughs> no, but I just look. look I didn't, what are you doing? I just leave a I, comment down below. <laughs> so I'm proud of her for even trying it. But <laughs> but look, what 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 look. would your wife be doing? Would she make you do it all yourself? Would she help? So again, I'm proud of her for trying, but oh. I really don't know what she's doing. Did I not get it up there? I got it up there. All right, we called an audible. Greg's actually gonna bring his own trailer here that's an enclosed trailer. We don't wanna touch this hay more times than we have to, so we're just gonna put a board across here to get them off the ground and then lay them down because the sides that are, the ends that are on the ground are a little bit damp from when I put them here a few days ago. So basically what he wanted was he wanted me to load some on the trailer before he made that decision. Farmer Jenga. This is good practice for Deb, because she wants lots of animals. Lots of animals means lots of hay. This might change her mind. You know how I said I'm clumsy? Look at that, somehow moving hay bales and bleeding. All right, babe, what did we learn today about you and hay? That I can pick it up and I can throw it. I can throw bales, but that I'm also very allergic. So that's a thumbs up, thumbs down. She's been sitting here helping me stack and now she's welting up from the hay where it scratched her. Riata Bahia grass is a special Bahia developed for Florida. We did five acres, bailed it ourselves, and we got how many full bales? 90, 90 full bales. That's not counting the ones that didn't wrap. 90 complete and total bales of hay. Probably 10 bales there that are not wrapped, so that's pushing right at 100 of these small bales. I think that's a good yield. Um, we're not we're not hares. We're not hares. <laughs> we're not hares or people that bale hay, so, um, I don't know volume-wise what this is, tonnage, but that seems like a lot more bales than we thought we were gonna get. But uh, that's gonna close out today's kind of hodgepodge smorgasbord uh, video. You got anything to, anything to add here? Nope, just once again, we thank Greg and we hope his horses enjoy the fruits of Brad's labor. 
All right, guys, we sure appreciate you watching. We'll throw up a couple links here to our haying videos. But until the next one, y'all take care out there. And remember, life's short. Be kind and tractor hard. Be kind and tractor hard. <laughs>